Hello, hello. If you watch my previous video, you know that PyCharm, Python and Django work very nice on this new M1 processor. So it's a good, good news. So without further ado, let's go into PyCharm and start working. This is the only time I'm, I'm, I'm showing you how uh, PyCharm is booting up because I just wanna, if you're curious how quickly PyCharm boots up on MacBook Pro with M1, here it is. It's pretty fast, I have to say. I have no problems with, uh, with that speed. Okay. And here is some redness. Oh yeah, okay. So I did come across it before. This is about environment variables. You either know what that is or you don't. If you don't, I'm not gonna go into it yet because it doesn't doesn't make sense to confuse you with this sl maybe slightly um, complicated topic. So I'm just gonna fix it. So if you wanna use your Django console, you can, okay? So if you have the same problem, just go to your PyCharm preferences. I suppose if you're using Windows, you might uh, it might be in file and settings somewhere, but in Mac, it's in preferences. Just look for console and go here and just add a environment variables. Okay, let me just copy this because I make mistakes sometimes. So I prefer to copy. I'm a copy person, copying person. Console, oh yeah, it's there. You just click here, you add new variable and that should be your project name. So in my case, it's Marex portfolio dot settings. So it's basically we're telling Django, um, well, PyCharm, look for Django settings in Marx portfolio settings file. Okay, okay, okay. And we run. And it's fixed. Okay, I'm gonna stop here because it doesn't make sense to make this long, long uh, uh, video. Um, this is kind of a fix that people might be looking for. So I'm gonna finish here and I'll catch you in a second, uh, second video. Bye-bye.